You get it. Okay. You want to know the real reason why I ran away from camp that summer? Because before I went, Todd made a joke. One about you. How he was going to have to move on to you now that I was leaving. He said he was just kidding, just being silly. But you know how you are when you're a kid. He's practically an adult. Shit coming out of his mouth is gospel. Took me four days to make it home. Had to hit some. Plus that car I finally took. Four days to warn you about him. But see, now you know the truth. I was warning you to stay away from him for my sake. Because he was mine. I'm... Yeah, I can see that now. Irony being... Supposedly, I came to save you. I mean, in my mind, I was also doing that. Absolutely. But once I was out there... On the run... It was me that needed help. I tried... I needed your help for once. I tried to. By telling the old man I was hiding out in the garage? Terry, huh? Terry, listen, I was like 12 years old. Right, right. I only told him that you were, you know, you'd come home. I asked you not to. I begged you, in fact. I begged you. I had you. no idea he was going to react like that. No, Drew. What? Don't. Don't what? Do not do that. Rewrite history. I'm not rewriting anything. Yes, you are, because that's the way we do in our fucking house. We lie about it, or we don't say shit. We clam up and don't utter a fucking syllable about things. About the truth. Yes. What are you talking about? Huh? I'm talking about you and mom, okay? The fact that you two could just stand there and let me be like I'm some asshole that you've never met before. You had a chance to say something, anything. Say that not a day went by without that motherfucker hitting Terry, on me. Terry. Or that. Terry. What? What'd you expect? You know how dad was when he got going like that? I just wanted to try and fuck you, Drew. You lying prick. I saw you out there. Saw you standing on the lawn as the cops were taking him away. You didn't say shit. Not one word ever in my defense. No, no, Terry, that's not the story. That's the story, Drew. You sold me out to our fucking father. When you had a chance to do the right thing, you hid behind mum's skirt like no. a little bitch no. and let him drag no. me off. No, You piece of shit, look at you. Standing there in your suit, feeling pretty good about yourself, huh? What does that mean? It's your self-medicating fuck that could sell himself on just about anything. Jesus Christ, Terry. Shut up! I've been there for you. Try to help you if you've thrown your life away. You never even once acknowledged that night. Not once. Look. Dad did all that to you, and I'm sorry. I truly am if you feel like I was to blame. I'm, I really didn't mean for anything like that to happen. How could I? Terry, I'm not a bad guy, you know that. I'm not. Well, fuck, at least not when I was 12. Bro, please now, I mean, if we're gonna get all full disclosure here, you jacked a car, Terry. And nobody made you do that. They didn't. And I'm sorry if that was so, you know, I don't know. I never wanted him to hurt you. God. That was nothing. That wasn't, you know that. that wasn't nothing, Terry. I mean, you ended up almost beating him to death. I know. And I'm not saying that he didn't... But come on, man. You put Dad in the hospital for two months. I'm sorry. I am, really. I'm sorry I didn't kill him.